Welcome back to the channel. For a little while now, I've had an AM transmitter hooked up to a small tablet which broadcasts my favorite songs throughout the house. And I really like it. I use it more than I really thought I ever would. And then I thought, why can't I do the same thing with a video signal? And I watched a few YouTube videos and it is definitely doable. And other than one piece of equipment, I don't have to buy anything. I have it all here. So to me, it sounds like a lot of fun. And I'm going to get started. Here is how we're going to begin. We do need a source signal, and we're going to use a VCR. It should be sufficient and easy to use. I guess that's why I'm going to use it. The next step in this glorified useless experiment is a RF modulator. This is going to take our line output from the VCR, modulate it to channel 11. This VCR is only capable of mono output. So we're going to use an adapter. Video output. Audio output. Audio input. Video input. The signal coming out of the RF modulator will be quite weak. So we're going to use an amplifier from an antenna and put that through another amplifier. Usually, these things run from TV to antenna. We, however, are going to do this backwards. Out of one amplifier into another. I think we're ready to begin. Power on. Test tape in. Push play. And we should be good to go. Now we need some kind of antenna. This is all I have really laying around. It's some junky one I picked up somewhere. Here is my Sony Mega Watchman from, I don't know, somewhere in the 80s, early 90s, I guess. And let's see if uh, our broadcast is working. So uh, we're gonna put up our aerial. Turn it on. There's our raster, and we need to tune to channel 11. First, we gotta make sure we're on VHF. And pictures on, yeah, okay. And tune to channel 11. my shed. Uh, we've got a picture. I don't know its range. I don't know its power. Really don't know anything other than I did it. 
All right, so this is where we are currently. That's the watch man. And over here is our little setup. So we did not transmit very far. And here we are in the shop, which is very close to the pool table. But as you can see, we have a picture. Uh, it's very noisy, but it's there nonetheless. All right, here we are in the sitting room, and we're going to try again. Raster, and let's try to tune in. And there it is. In color. Yeah, it's not a perfect picture, but it is still there. All right, so we proved we can transmit a signal coming out of a VCR. What about something a little more complicated, like a DVD player? DVD is loaded. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Apparently nothing. Nothing because you unplugged the RF modulator instead of the VCR. Channel 11. All right, so it is playing. It is noisy, but you know, that's to be expected. We're not exactly running a tight ship over here. Volume. And we have volume. Definitely volume. Uh, Big Bang Theory, which is playing. It is Letterbox, and there it is playing. Letterbox is, uh, Letterboxes? Well, it's on the screen. All three of them. So I got it playing and it plays really well uh, by pointing that stupid little antenna directly at the TVs and their antennas pointed directly at the uh, at that silly little one. It comes in quite well. How about we try something really stupid? So on the TV, the Big Bang Theory and directly under the TV. That's a Betamax player. I've never tested this thing to record. All right, to do this, we're gonna have to take the antenna that was going into the TV, out of the TV, which is incredibly difficult with one hand. All right, so antenna moves into RF in. Come on, focus. RF in. Then RF out. Uh, oh, conveniently, I have. Alright, so now RF out.
into the TV. Betamax on. I have no idea how this works. So, uh, underneath this uh, cover here is uh, fine tuning controls for channels. Uh, I never used one of these. We didn't have this as a kid. I mean, if we did, I didn't ever use it. But fine tuning this knob and setting it to the correct frequencies. We're in business. So, let's do this. Um, I think that's the record button. I think. I hear sounds. And for no good reason at all, we are currently recording the Big Bang Theory onto Betamax. And there it is, a recorded version of the Big Bang Theory. They're still being broadcast, but that's playback. Now, why would anybody do this? And the real reason is, you wouldn't. There's no good reason. I mean, this is just something I'm doing, and there's no, <laughs> no good reason. The player, I love it, but it squeaks. It doesn't rewind very well. It needs attention, so you would not be using this in any kind of real way. But I think we can push this a little bit further. That's a Blu-ray player. HDMI to RCA out. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. There it is. It works. Doesn't look quite right though. Let's push play. Obligatory piracy warning. It does just fine in a 4x3 TV. I know, it's snowy and the picture looks, you know, not good. But it works. So I enjoyed that experiment a lot more than I should have. It was a lot of fun playing with the Betamax. And I had a great afternoon doing this. Uh, there was no point to it. It is not something anybody should do, but I'm thinking somewhere along the lines, there's going to be a part two to this video. I didn't think I would enjoy my little AM transmitter as much as I do. I think I might enjoy some kind of TV signal broadcasting thing. But that is something for another day. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Please, if you would, like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you next time.